the exterior shape together with all the special technical details we have in the new 911 Turbo justify that this car is the head of our model range, the highlight. Of course, it needs to be the leader in terms of performance and at the same time the leader in terms of efficiency. For this reason, we worked intensively in the drivetrain, engine and gearbox dynamics as well as on the driving performance and the car has a redesigned optic. We worked on the exterior design as well as slightly in the interior. Now we come to one of the absolute highlights of the new 911 Turbo, the power plant. Meanwhile, we have 3.8 liters of volume. We have a maximum power of 500 horsepower and we can deliver 650 newton meters of torque. In addition, with our sports chrono package, we can ramp up the newton meters up to 700 uh, in order to accelerate this car in 3.4 seconds from 0 to 100 or in 11.6 seconds from 0 to 200. 11.6 is an interesting figure together with this car because it's also the average consumption uh, that the car delivers when you are in standard traffic. If you keep in mind that the car does a top speed of 312 k's per hour, that it delivers 500 horsepower, and is able to deal with a consumption of 11.6 liters, I think it's a fantastic package in terms of efficiency and performance. Another highlight to be demonstrated in the back of this car are the active drive mounts that make it possible that the car can be on the one side driven very performance oriented when the mountings are very stiff and that it also can be a little bit more comfortable when the mounts are a little bit more open and give the engine more room to maneuver in the back of the car. In terms of chassis improvement, I would like to talk a little bit about the rear wheels. What you can see here, the central locking device gives us the possibility to reduce the weight by more than two kilograms. It's a direct carryover from our racing department now into serial applications. On the other hand, to be best in class with the 911 Turbo makes it necessary to add another chapter in driving dynamics. Coming from Porsche Stability Management, PSM, and walking over Porsche Traction Management that we mainly developed with the all-wheel drive Cayenne and brought the technology into the last turbo, we now are in the chapter of Porsche torque vectoring. Porsche torque vectoring is adding much more driving dynamics that we could deliver up to now. With this new system, we are able to individually break down the right or left rear wheel in case the system understands it's going into understeer on the front axle. So we really make it possible that the car follows the line that the driver points on with his steering wheel and have maximum acceleration from mid-turn outward through a complete differential lock at the rear axle. What we can see here in the front is the new LED daylight driving light. This really gives an identification to the car during daytime in the front together with the LED indicators it's a new and even more aggressive appearance on the front. The new headlight system is possible to maneuver the angle of the headlights and to give optimum lightning towards the way you are driving to. The two major reasons why we were able to on the one side increase the performance and on the other side increase the efficiency are the new engine technology with a 3.8 liter direct injected engine and on the other side a 7-speed Porsche double clutch system gearbox. The double clutch system now can be operated with pedal shifters directly at the steering wheel on the right side to shift up, on the left side to shift down. And together with our different programs 
you can pick when you press the sports or the sports plus button we are able to deliver shifting times that are either very comfortable or that are close to racing applications from our motorsports department.